Tony Daunt is with us, and he's waiting right now, the exec director of the Michigan Freedom Fund, our neighbor in downtown Lansing here. Welcome back to the program, sir. Good morning. Happy Monday. Thank you. Uh, it's the candidate's last gasp before the primary, and then Wednesday morning, of course, it uh, sounds like the vice president is going to come to Grand Rapids for the Republicans for a unity event. It'll be in the evening there, a ticketed event. What are your thoughts overall? What's uh, struck your fancy about this primary election that has more people uh, asking for absentee ballots than in recent memory? Well, I think, you know, that's, that's surely a product of the fact that there are very competitive races on both the Republican side and the, uh, and the Democratic side. And uh, in particular, you know, the Republicans have a, a very hotly contested U.S. Senate race. And I think people are engaged and, um, you know, looking forward to see the results. Have you issued endorsements at the Michigan Freedom Fund in the race for uh, in the primary for governor? We have not. Nope. We we were very heavily involved in a number of legislative primary races in the state senate and state house, but we did not get involved in the the gubernatorial contest. And we're looking forward to the results. And then you know we we're very excited for uh, for the the stretch run from the primary to the general and want to see the the candidates whoever wins the senate race whoever wins the gubernatorial to uh to rally the the rest of the team around them people to unify because we've had a lot of progress over the last eight years and any of the republicans who are running are going to be a better choice than whoever comes out of the democrat primary i see okay now i'm looking here at uh, by the way winnie brinks was just with us the democrat from grand rapids two hundred eighty eight thousand dollars she raised in her uh, senate bid and then tom barrett was with us just a moment ago six hundred and forty three thousand dollars but it's more than the money isn't it or is it money you know you can't get your message out if you don't have money so money is obviously important but um there there are certainly instances where people win with less money and that's because they've got a better message that resonates with the voters and somebody like tom barrett for instance um you know he is one of the hardest working candidates out there he's a great solid conservative and uh, you know, people would do well to model their campaigns after him and in the shoe leather that he puts in. And so, um, you know, a, a, a message is important and the money to get that message out as well. All right. Thank you very much. Would you mind giving some analysis to us on Wednesday morning after we the smoke clears, shall we say? I will be happy to provide my thoughts. And, I, I you know, it's better to provide afterward thoughts than <laughs> to try to predict things. <laughs> Fair enough. Tony Dot, the executive director of the Michigan Freedom Fund.